misuse of fertilizers coupled with fake fertilizers in the market has been a big threat to food security in the country. Our soils are acidic generally. Africa is hugely uh, lagging behind in terms of fertilizer use. But in Vihiga County, one of the most densely populated counties in the country, things are changing. They've found a way of tackling the problem. Many farmers are now steadily embracing soil testing in order to know which fertilizers are suitable for their soils. Ile brand ilikuwa wanaita tail med ile ambayo tuli request ilikuwa na 38% ya phosphorus and we just just a question of trying to shop out which is the best fertilizer that can meet our requirements here. We will give you a glimpse into how that tailor made fertilizer is blended in Mombasa before it is brought here. Welcome, I'm your host Alex Chamwada and we begin with background information about Vihiga County on our fact sheet. Vihiga County is one of the counties in the former western province of Kenya. It borders Kisumu County to the south, Siaya County to the west, Nandi County to the east, and Kakamega County to the north. Its headquarters is in Mbale Town. Vihiga County has five constituencies, namely Emuhaya, Hamisi, Luanda, Vihiga and Sabatia. According to the county statistics, the population currently stands at about 700,000, with half of the population aged below 15 years. The main towns in the county are Luanda, Chavakali, Maseno, Mudete, Mbale, Serem, Jeptulu, and Kilingili. Agriculture is the major economic activity in Vihiga, given the favorable climate in the county. The main food crops grown in Vihiga are maize, beans, sorghum, bananas, avocado, cassava, sweet potatoes, and French beans. On the other hand, the main cash crops in the county are coffee and tea. But despite the good performance in agriculture, the sector is facing challenges of continuous land subdivision, land tenure systems, environmental degradation, and reduced soil fertility resulting from poor agricultural practices. For the Chamwada Report, I'm Michael Zimanji. It is the second planting season of the year in Vihiga County. Farmers are busy with the short rains around the corner in Kidinye village, the Higa constituency, we found extension workers educating farmers on the best planting methods. The farmers are working hard, but land for cultivation in the Higa county is small, posing a big challenge to food production. Paul Mboni is the county executive committee member in charge of agriculture, livestock, fisheries and cooperatives. Uh, it's considered one of the highest densely populated rural place in Kenya and even in Africa, possibly. So we have small holder, uh, uh, say, acreage, less than an acre per farm family. So that is the kind of uh, land pressure we have in the big account. It is because of that pressure on land that there is need for intensified farming supported by the best farming practices. In Vihika County requires around, uh, uh, around 700,000 packs of maize. That's per year for a whole year. That is in the 90 kilo bag, 700,000 bag. But we produce between 350, 350 and 400,000 uh, bags per, per year. Initially, there was the regular use of the same fertilizer every year and the, the, the DAPs and the, the, the TCN, DP, TCN, every, every year now. And this, there was the, the acidification of the soil. The soil was becoming more acidic every year. So the, the, the yield declined for over a period of time. It is against that background that the county government had to embark on an awareness campaign in order to reverse the worrying trend. If you want to farm 
which we are saying is farming as a business. You must be ready to invest. Now, what investment are we exactly talking about? One, can you test your soils? The question will be, why am I testing my soils? You're testing your soils so that you're in a position to know what is lacking, so that it can be adjusted. And it will also guide you on what quantity of fertilizer to purchase so that you can make use of it. Then secondly, you still have to buy certified seed. You still have to buy inorganic fertilizer from the agrovets. And because our soils are acidic generally, you need to do composting so that you mix all these together so that you have better results. The fertilizer uptake has been on 20%, but uh, of late, through our extension methodologies, now the, the uptake is around 45% of the farmers are now utilizing the fertilizer. For an acre, we recommend 75 kg uh, basal fertilizer, 75 kg top dressing uh, fertilizer, which could be either urea or CN. The other challenge is that here, like in many other parts of the country, there has been the problem of adulterated or fake fertilizers in the market. In order to counter the fertilizer-related challenges, the county government decided to work with a fertilizer blending company for tailor-made fertilizer, which was used for the first time this year during the first planting season of the year. We have done those researches, we have done the soil sampling and researches and we have done and we had the results as we have the results in my office and we just just a question of trying to shop out which is the best fertilizer that can meet our requirements here. Uh, after analyzing the reports, the, the soil uh, test reports, we came up and said how can we get a fertilizer that we want will ensure that we, we will have low acidifying effect. Secondly, be able to, uh, to unleash the, the micronutrients that are suppressed within our soils to be available to the plants for higher production. And then we, we actually went around and we felt that what uh, ETG was pro well providing fertilizer that was really meeting our, our needs. Soil sampling and testing is currently happening, although the uptake is still very low. But we are trying to work with our partners closely. We have some partners who are subsidizing this activity. So that you bring your one sample and it is done at a small fee of 300 shillings. So we are trying to rally our farmers to come together so that we carry out soil testing at an affordable price. We have to go to the original Soil testing tumefundishwa tunaweza pima mchanga ndio tuchue mbolea gani unaweza tumia. Na huwa sana kuna hizi major uh, madini matatu. Kuna hiyo nitrogen, kuna phosphorus na potassium. Alafu kuna mengine ambayo wanaongezea kama magnesium na calcium. Sasa kwa, kwa mfano kama ile ingine ambayo inatengenezwa ile brand ilikuwa wanaita tail med ile ambayo tuli request ilikuwa na 38% ya phosphorus. Sasa hiyo ndiye nafanya mmea inasaidia madeni ya madeni ya phosphorus inafanya mmea unaota vizuri mizizi inashika vizuri kama percentage mbolea ni ya top dress kunyunyezia kama mmea umeota tayari inaitwa top dressing sasa hiyo ndiyo utakuta mmea unahitaji sana madeni ya aina ya nitrogen so how is the blending of the tailor made fertilizer done our reporter Tony Sanya sought to find out there is no factory that manufactures fertilizer in Kenya. Most fertilizers that are used in the country are imported, but there is also fertilizer that is blended locally from imported fertilizers. Export trading company, also known as ETG, a Mombasa-based company that started its operations in Kenya in 2017, is one of the companies that sell blended fertilizers. One of its key destinations is Vihiga County, which has stepped up efforts to raise awareness on proper use of fertilizer. These blends have been specifically designed for Kenyan soils. We hope that this will improve farmer yields um, because the fertilizer is a lot more scientifically adapted to the soils of, of, the, of Kenya. Um, we've had experts from across the globe come to Kenya, do soil, soil testing. We've talked with many, many farmers. 
we, we've uh, got their requirements. As we know, the Kenyan uh, soils are very acidic due to overuse of certain types of fertilizers. A factor that has continued to pose a challenge to many farmers, hence continue low yields. By bringing new technologies uh, to Kenya, new fertilizer blends, uh, increased productivity, we hope that we can give farmers the tools that can enable them to produce high yields and reduce dependency on imported products. We believe that this is the future of, of fertilizers in Kenya and in Africa. Ultimately, Africa is hugely uh, lagging behind in terms of fertilizer use compared to the rest of the world. And fertilizers are one key component of improving yields and improving food security. There is also the challenge of fake fertilizers. There is reports of uh, unscrupulous um, manipulating of bags, um, but uh, this is something that the government is, is tackling, um, and uh, we, we hope that it will be solved uh, as soon as possible. But just what makes a good fertilizer? To note here is that uh, both, both DAP and urea in Afaka will be coated. DAP will be coated with a product called Avail, also uh, reduces, it, uh, reduces uh, volatilization in the case of uh, phosphorus products. Then we have Agrotain which coats urea, which reduces volatilization in the case of, uh, of urea. That means our products now, once they go to the market here, yeah, they are going, they are, they will be suitable for, for the soils that are there. And how is the blending done? Once the product is loaded in the hoppers, the, then the, we have to go to the PLC itself, program, the program itself, put input the, um, the quantity we want from uh, urea to other, all other products, including the liquid, the liquids that are sprayed on these products. Once we input there, we just press a button and then everything else is automated. Once you press the button, you see that uh, there's a, they're all timed in seconds. First one is zero seconds, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, all the way to the, to the last one. Yeah? Once we fully loaded the machine, it can do 150 tons an hour. Experts emphasize that soil testing is the first step to proper use of fertilizers and the government through its National Agriculture Acceleration Input Success Program has undertaken various tests in all the counties. Our products are now Kenonafaka, Hoti, Top and S. Yeah? But if a farmer wants uh, to come and uh, give us, uh, according to the soil uh, analysis of his, of his uh, shamba or something, yeah? we can always uh, work around. There's always a way you can create a formula that you can be able to use in the blending machine. High fertilizer prices and inadequate supply have also been cited as some of the reasons that have seen many, especially small-scale farmers, <laughs> fail to access the input. Pricing is very reliant on international markets. A lot of the fertilizer and the products included in our blends are imported. Um, so prices are generally globally determined, um, a very uh, big influencer on the price of fertilizer is uh, so prices are fluctuating daily um, and so we have to incorporate that in our prices. ETG has partnered with the government to offer the blended quality fertilizer at subsidized prices. So, blended miles and miles away, but making impact in Vihiga County, with farmers steadily embracing soil testing. For the Chamwada Report, I'm Tony Sanya. We take a short break. When we return, the impact of proper use of fertilizers in Vihiga County on food security. Welcome back. This show comes to you right from Vihiga County, we are in the farms to understand the impact of improved use of fertilizers on food security in the county. In Sirome village in Luanda sub-county, we found a happy group of farmers. They say they've seen a tremendous improvement in yields after using the fertilizer that was tailor-made for the soils in the county. Mimi kwanza nalima shamba kiwango cha three quarters an acre. Shamba. 
na ingine hapa ziko karibu gugni ya kumi nambili ni kimaliza yote ingine nisha nile disposo ni katumia kidogo and all this transformation is not by accident ni afisa kilimo alikuja katufundisha hizi mbinu mpya za kupanda spacing na modern style and anyway, modern style ya kupanda ndio i think wakati tumeitumia imetusaidia sana ku improve hii mazao yetu currently the services we are, that we are basically offering to our farmers is provision of extension services and remember whatever service the government is giving is to the farmer it is done for free remember it is the government taking care of all the costs here it is now common to find farmers working in groups katika group yetu tunasaidiana kuvuni mbinu za kulima kilimo cha kisasa alafu tuko na table banking tuko na merry go round kwa kikundi alafu tunabadilishana mawazo wakati tunakaa kwa nyumba ya memba kila memba anatoa shilingi 200 hiyo inapewa memba ambaye ame host hiyo ndio merry go round alafu every month ile meeting ya mwisho tunakuwa na table banking watu wanatoa shares minimum ni 50 shillings mtu anatoa kulingana na uwezo wako wakati tukitoa shares pesa inawekwa pamoja wenye walikuwa wamekopa wanarudisha alafu pia tunakopa sasa unapata kama mtu wako hata na school fee ama anataka kununua mbolea ama ako na shughuli fulani yenye inahitaji pesa anatumia hiyo pesa kwenda kulipa Elsewhere in Bumira village Shamahoho ward in Jivoli sub county we meet Emos Simiu a subsistence farmer Emos takes us to his farm to show us the transformation on the farm Kitambo 2016 nilikuwa nikipanda na pata kunya sita kwa hiyo kama na robo kulingana tu na venye inaonyesha kwa sababu ni ile imeweka smarter ni mnono natumai tu nitapata site ya 24 bucks for the shorter this planting season that uh, we have uh, just finished uh, our yields have improved from uh, uh, the six six bags per acre to some of farmers are actually recording up to 16 bags per acre so already those are the indicators that uh, this fertilizer has done extremely well for Vihiga county For comparison purposes this is a farm where no fertilizer was used and this is where there was proper application of fertilizer an acre we are able to the ordinary farmers they have been getting four bags per acre we, but with the use of the fertilizer now we have now jumped from four bags per acre to 15 bags per acre on average but farmers can also get even 20 25 bags per acre using the ETG fertilizer. So what we are we are projecting if if the uptake can increase to up to 60% utilization of ETG the fertilizer we can be somehow 50% food secure. One of the challenges however is that the tailor made fertilizer is not easily available. Kupatikana kwake do ilikuwa ni tatizo kidogo. Haipatikani vizuri. Sasa hata tunaomba wenye kampuni watafute mbinu watuletee karibu juu ni mbele ya mzuri. Jui hii tulipanda nayo tuliletewa na eh, county. Wakati tuliletewa na county na ikakuwa kidogo. Ikabidi nitafuta kitakacho ofisa aenda ninunulie penye inapatikana. Nitaambia up to majengo. Sinaona. So na from majengo to hapa ni distance. Kwa hivyo si tungeomba tu wanaweza tuletee hiyo mbolea karibu ili tu ikuwe accessible kwa haraka kuliko ku travel so that eh, watu wengi wataipenda na wataitumia sana the bad uh, the, the issues uh, that we want the farmers to discard is uh, the use of uh, uh, the, the local seeds and then the, we, are, we are encouraging the farmers to also do uh, uh, crop rotation because the, the, we, have, we have realized that continuous uh, monocropping has resulted into what we the situation that we, we have right now because the yields have really declined but we are encouraging them if they do crop rotation they do land preparation in, in good time they they plan using the right spacing the right fertilizer we can now move ahead and get the right 
quantity of yields. Uh, uh, we have seen this uh, difference. We are collecting the data at the moment, but most of the farmers where we have seen, we have actually collected the data, we have seen a marked difference in terms of the yields. Uh, we are expecting a, a, an improvement in the yield to the tune of almost a, uh, an improvement of over 30 percent of what we do. That marks the end of our show. We are glad you spared time to watch the show. Remember, you can watch the online version of this program on our YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to the channel if you've not done so and turn the notification button on in order to be receiving our updates. Until next week when we bring you another informative show, I'm your host Alex Chamada and bye-bye from Vihiga County.